Hey guys, went out to Barrel Chest, made a quick uh, beer run out there, and I picked up some stuff to review, and also picked up some go-to beers uh, that I'd, uh, I normally don't get at the grocery store that I don't, they don't carry, but Martin carries a bunch of good stuff out there. I hadn't had this Lagunita Suck since last year, so he had it out there, so I picked up a six-pack, and I'll be sipping on that here. Also picked up a six pack of the Ballast Point Sculpin. I always think that's a great beer, guys. Nice go-to beer for an IPA. Also picked up from uh, uh, Six Point uh, Ales, uh, their resin. This is their double IPA. Uh, got six cans of that. And, uh, and to review, I uh, finally was able to get my hands. I've had a bunch of these guys ask me when I was going to review this. This is Stone's Ruination uh, 2.0. So I picked up a bottle of that to check out and review. Also, we've got one here from uh, uh, Left Coast Brewing. This is their Voodoo American Stout. And uh, not a big fan of the shipyard beer, but I've seen this one there and had the pirate on it and black IPA and hadn't reviewed that, so I picked that up to see what that one's about. So uh, hopefully that's going to be a good one. And uh, also, uh, uh, the Southern Tier Warlock, uh, guys, I reviewed that last year. I actually thought that was better than the Pump King. Uh, I enjoyed it a little bit better. So I picked up another one just so I could have it just uh, this fall. Here we're in... Uh, August, so uh, the pumpkin beers are already out. They had the Pump King and the Bombers and the 12 ounces, but I didn't pick any of that up. I'm, it's just too buttery, stale tasting to me. I don't know. It's just, just my personal preference. A lot of people love that beer. Uh, it just hasn't impressed me a whole lot. Also, from Clown Chews, guys, we picked up a couple of their bottles. The first one here is their Date Night Saison. This is a Belgian style ale. I hadn't reviewed that one. And also, I've done their Hoppy Feet. This is the Hoppy Feet 2.0 IPA. So it's a black IPA. So I hadn't done that one. I picked up, picked up that. And also, this one here is Incubus. And uh, it is a uh, bottle conditioned uh, Abbey style Belg uh, Belgian style triple. Uh, this is uh, from Sly Fox Brewery, and I have done some Sly Fox beer, but I've seen this one, and this is a big bottle. It's got the cage and the cork in it, so I said, eh, let's give it a try, see what happens. And the good news uh, on the trip out there, I've been hearing rumors that, uh, that Ale Smith is coming to Virginia, and it is here. It has arrived, guys. I picked up their Grand Cru. Also picked up the old numbskull. I've got. I may have a bottle of this uh, tucked away and uh, seen this. Uh, I'm gonna pick up another bottle if I have it. I, I got two, and if I don't, I'll review this one. And also got my hands on another Speedway style. I, I collect them things like like baseball cards, guys. That is an awesome. It's a freaking awesome stout. Probably one of my favorites. And now that I can get it in Virginia, I'm a happy guy. Also here from uh, Stillwater, this is Joaquin IBU, and it's IBU like International Bittering Units. So I said, well, I haven't done that one, and the, the, the label on it kind of makes your eyes spin around there, the way they've got those guys turning from one way to the other. So we're going to review that one. Also from Evil Twin, and I'm probably going to butcher up this name, on on Mas Chili Jesus. Or if you're in Mexican, Jesus. <laughs> and this is a uh, Imperial Stout, guys, at uh, 12%. So this is a big beer. In between, makes some good stuff, but their stuff's a little on the pricey side. I think that bottle was about 10 bucks for that little 12 ounce bottle. And also uh, got one from Off Color. Well, I actually got three from Off Color Brewing, and they're out of uh, Chicago, I think. This is their Troublesome on the front here. It's a wheat beer brewed with coriander. This is their Apex Predator. It's a farmhouse ale. And here on the end is the Scurry. And it is a beer brewed with honey, molasses, and oats. So, uh, picked up three from these guys. I don't think I've had anything from the Off Color Brewing. So, I got three from them. And this one here on the end, this is Flying Mouse Number 4, which is an IPA. This is a local brewery, guys. This is the first time I've seen anything either in a bottle or a can 
from these guys. Uh, uh, they've been in business for a couple years now and uh, haven't been out to the brewery. Uh, they're out in uh, Daleville, I think. And th this is the first package thing uh, that I've seen from them. I said, well, what the hell? I'll just pick one of them up and, and see how it is. So that's what we picked up from Martin and the guys out there at the Barrel Chest. A nice little uh, nice little run here. Some go-to beers. I have some review beers here to do. And uh, just want to give you a, a quick uh, reminder. They're having their uh, Barrel Fest uh, out there on the 15th of August, guys. And uh, they got a bunch of uh, uh, barrel-aged beers. And they're selling tickets, and they're going like hotcakes, guys. Uh, they're limited, limited to, uh, I think it's to about 250 people. And there's several different price range of the tickets uh, that you can pick up. So if you're in the Roanoke Valley area or within a quick driving distance, uh, that's going to happen uh, starting at 12 o'clock on the 15th of August out at uh, the Barrel Chest location there on 419 near Tanglewood. So if you're interested in coming to the event, I'm going to be there. Uh, you better get pick your tickets up fast because I got a feeling that's going to sell out. They've got uh, 20 or, or more uh, uh, barrel aged beers they're going to be serving. So it's going to be a great time. So. We're going to get some of these uh, stuffed away in the refrigerator and get them chilled down. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys.